As with any mode of transportation, as soon as more innovative thinkers get their hands on the basic concept, they end up expanding, creating new ideas. Building upon what was once considered the best mode of transportation in the hover bike, I recently seen a video by a YouTube creator called No Hypothesis. And his video proclaims that this upgraded version of the hover bike flies better than the original version of the hover bike. We're gonna put that to the test. When looking at these two hover bikes side by side, they seem identical. It's only until you start looking at the nooks and crannies and seeing some slight differences that improve aerodynamics. My first test flight, it was an absolute fail because I didn't even think that it was going to have that much control. I was used to having a more loose control. You know that feeling as if you're flying something really, really big or driving something really, really big? That's how the old hover bike feels in comparison to this one. But on my second test flight, I very quickly learned how much control you have with this new and upgraded version of the hover bike. The improved aerodynamics helped me make turns with ease and it just feels so fluid. I guess it's something that I expected to feel in the original version of the hover bike. Well, let's get into the differences and explaining how to make it. To start out, we're gonna need two fans and a steering stick. You're gonna wanna shut off your motion control so nothing affects you when you're using your ultra hand. When activating your ultra hand, you don't wanna use your left stick. This way we could keep everything properly aligned. We'll start out by using ultra hand on the first fan at the top. We'll flatten it out and push it outward with the D-pad. We'll take the next fan, flatten it out, raise it up a little bit, push it outward with the D-pad, hover it over this fan and then attach it. Remember during this whole process you don't want to use your left stick because you'll put the fans out of alignment. Next we'll take the control and try to place it with the same alignment as you have the fans right on top we're going to attach it. Next we'll walk right up to it and you'll have to hit the jump button so you get the control prompt. You'll press A just to get up on the controls and B to cancel out. In this next step we're going to detach the fan that's directly under us. Next, you'll press A on the control and then you'll press B to cancel out again. Then we're going to do a backflip off of this just to maintain proper spacing. Then we're going to take the steering stick at the very top and pull it towards you with the D-pad as close as possible. Then you're going to rotate it 45 degrees with the front going upward. And now we could just attach it to the top fan. Now take the fan and control, rotate it upward just to get some space and leverage, move it outward with the D-pad and then rotate it back 45 degrees. As you're coming back from max distance, you'll attach it to the last fan. Initially, I didn't even think there was going to be much difference between hover bikes. But man, I tell you, the differences are instantly noticeable. Definitely an upgrade to the hover bike. This is definitely a hover bike 2.0. Salute to No Hypothesis for upgrading this auto build. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys got any thoughts, tips, or ideas, share them in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City 2 for a bunch more Zelda tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all. Uh.